Hello and welcome to the Free Cheese episode 192. I'm your Joe Dix, joined today by Matt Selner. Hello. Mark Augustiniak. B, I mean, hello. Hey. Hey. The Free Cheese, a weekly video game podcast about video games brought to you once a week by thefreecheese.com. Welcome back. That's not welcome back. In he English. was here last week. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'm in English. You are in English. <laughs> right? Funimation hired me again. <laughs> How's Mark doing? Doing good. Doing good. You know, I'm not a... People can understand me, so... I could understand you last week. I don't know what you're oh. talking about. Beep. Oh. <laughs> uh, how's Matt doing? Great. Fantastic. Because wonderful. Because... Why this week? All right. You got... A uh, little bit... both things on right yeah, now. Yeah, you got a little bit going on uh, physically. All right, so... Well, one, energy is a little bit different. There's some mm. daylight outside in that window. There is some daylight. We are recording a little different yes. time. Why uh, are we doing that? I'm going to D.C. tonight to see the Capitals' final game in the regular season. Washington, D.C. Mm. I was just there yesterday. What were you doing nice. there? Uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh, I was gonna say, I no, thought... I didn't see any cherry blossoms. Did you go to that Mario bar? No. Oh. I, was, I was only there for like less than an hour. You should we were running Mario late and I had things to do. And so we just stood in line for food and stuff. My nose got sunburnt. Oh, I can see that. Oh, now I, I say that. I got green tea ice cream, though. So that was good. Ooh. I'm fried. Very not bad. not fried, but um, I've had fried. That's good, too. I've had French fries before. <laughs> You're going to Washington, <laughs> D.C., the Capitals game. Yes. Uh, final play? game of regular season. They're playing the Panthers tonight. It's uh, a meaningless game for Washington parties. Panthers. Washington State. College. Florida. Camp. College. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Uh, game meaningless for both teams, so... Fantastic. So what's the point in going? Well, I'm going. Exactly. Mm. Uh, and then... Yeah, you got a hoodie to on. celebrate our opening uh, week of baseball... Hot damn, that's right. The Orioles have decided to go 4-0 and as of time of recording. Oh. And as of time of recording... They are up 2 nothing on the Yankees right now. Ooh. Could be looking at a 5-0 start. Mm. Last year we started 7-0. What up? How'd that turn out? We made it to the playoffs. How about the World Series? No. How about the Stanley Cup? That might not happen either. But, you know. Hey, I'm just saying, right now, math shows. Math. This is a real fact. Uh-huh. Math predicts that if the Orioles keep this current pace... They will go 162 and 0. Okay, this makes sense to me. That is a math. That is a fact. Mm-hmm. 162 and 0. X equals one. I got it. <laughs> see that? Got it. I see it. Is that it? Does my math check out there? Where does the X come from? Two X plus two equals four. X equals one. Oh, I thought... X equals one. I thought you, that was a scratch out. X Not enough. equals. Gonna give it to you. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever written that down? Homework and handed it in? I don't in? know. I want to go back in time to high school and do that. I don't want to become a teacher for a day to see if anyone would do that. That's true. Speaking of going back in time to high school, we went to a flea market today and bought some stuff. <laughs> yeah, we did. I'd probably say middle school. Uh, Even elementary. Even elementary. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, we went a little far back. Um, yeah, we, we bought... um. Stuff. I bought a new power cable for my PlayStation 1 because that went missing over the years. Got a another N64 controller. So you got to hear that nice PlayStation sound? We did. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, we did. And I thought that that PS2 over there was also uh, destroyed because we dropped a TV on it. And last time I tried to fart with it, it wouldn't boot. Hmm. Now that we have power for the PS1, that also means we have power for the PS2. Plug that joint in the back. These are the same wires. Yep. Totally works. We got PS2 as well. So now we've got the whole PlayStation ecosystem up and running, which Look is really, that. really exciting. Look at that. So we got to test. This boy's very excited over here. Yeah. We got to test uh, the thing you bought, see if we can capture stuff. Right. Um. Yeah, got to get a couple controllers for the PlayStation 2. I do have controllers somewhere in an attic that are wireless Logitech controllers that are really, really nice. I love them. They're amazing, from my recollection. Hmm. Like, we loved those things. Um, But I'll probably end up just buying some DualShock 2. Can't can't go wrong with DualShock. That's true. That D-pad. 
perfection. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice that you can get a dual shock or a door shock dual shock too, so whatever you run into. That's true. What's the difference? I don't remember. More vibrate, different R two buttons. No, the R two buttons were the same, weren't there they? There was a two. I think that's why they were crossed. Yeah. They think that's why they work both ways. Interesting. I don't know. Very interesting. But yeah, we got the PS1 up and running again, which was super exciting. Like hearing the sound, going through the memory card, found out I, I'm missing one of my memory cards, but the one that still remains has my 190% Castlevania Symphony of the Night save file. So is 200 the limit? Uh, 200.6. You got to get Some that. I, yeah, I know. Fucking number. Um, I, we didn't boot it up. We should boot it up and see, check out the chrysogram because I know I definitely have the chrysogram in that save, which... Whew, that's the business. We so should... like a big ultimate. Attack. The chrysogram is a really dope weapon that you can only find in the upside down library by fighting a bunch of the schmooze, um, which are the. Schmooze. They look like uh, socks turned inside out that are dripping with blood. Oh. Um. That's familiar. Yeah, think of a like floating Charlie Brown on the Halloween special. With a little bit of blood. You're, you're probably not wrong there. Yeah. Um, you have to run around there for a while, and it's a random drop, and you're, oh, it, it right. depends on your luck. We were talking about this. Yeah. Um, but this one, instead of it doing yeah, one, it. one powerful attack, it does like a wave of powerful attacks. Like it just kind of like shoots out this. It's almost like a Link. Yeah. You heard of Link from The Legend of Zelda? I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a video game developed by uh, Yoshinori Ono. Uh, I'm confuzzled. You're welcome. <laughs> we got the N64 up and running. Yeah, uh, wow. yeah, you walked in on that. Tiny, tiny screens. Yeah, that frame yeah, rate. Yeah, we played some Perfect Dark. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a 10 frames per second frame rate. <laughs> uh, played some Perfect Dark. Played some Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Everything looks good there. Uh, last night I did have one N64 controller. So last night I was farting around with it. Booted up my Ocarina save. Whoa. Hmm. Super how, cool. How far? Is I that? had all of the things. I forget what they are now at this point. The, but it, the spiritual stones? Sure. Are you an adult or kid? I. It was all, everything was complete. Oh, so you like Game Shark and just got everything? No, I, this was my <laughs> old save as a boy. No Game Sharks allowed. That's what I did. You never got all the way through it? Okay, so as a kid, I had like an on and off relationship with Ocarina of Time. Okay. i never beaten it as a kid. No I'd shit. always play it. Like, okay, without codes, I'd always get to become an adult, get uh -huh. stuck at the Forest Temple, turn it off, hiatus. Huh. Repeat whenever I came back to it. Start yeah, yeah, over, yeah. like, yeah, I want to restart, blah, blah, blah. Just never got that far. Whoa. Like, and then Majora's Mask came around. I did that fine. And I think from that point on, it wasn't until the, the 3DS one that I completely beat it. Like, no shit. Like, legit. Because, like, I used Game Shark to just, like, fuck around with all these games. Yeah. And that was one of them where it got everything. You could hold an L button to levitate. Yeah. So I yeah, just yeah. fly through everything. Whoa. Like, just, like, cheated. Like, just made it to the very end of the game. I never had Game Shark for N64. I had it for PS1. It's fun. But... Break, it's fun breaking the games. We, um... <laughs> now I booted up. I didn't have all the hearts. So I didn't... I don't think I got all the heart mm. pieces. Because uh, I don't think I got all the gold skulltulas. But I had all the... I had the three things you get as a kid. I had all the eight. The, the, the medallions. Yeah, those stages. things. Um, had all that. I had most of the hearts. I think I was missing like four hearts maybe. That's not bad. But yeah, the, the white around the hearts too for the extra defense. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't look too close. Hmm. Yeah. And that part doesn't ring a bell, so maybe not. But it's, maybe I did and I just a, didn't realize It's a gift it. from a great fairy. I probably got it then. I fucked that game up. I had three saves. I had... That one, I had uh, one that was titled Batman that was like only 20 minutes in or something. Like that was probably one I did in high school. Then I had another one that was Joe that was a little bit further, but not as far. I don't think I even knew Link's name until Smash Brothers. That checks out. Because I think I, because I just used my name for everything. Yeah. Even like Link to the Past. And then yep. I was like, oh, that's his name? <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I'm real excited. Like now I got the TV. Now I got the stuff. It's it's fun to be able to like play that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go hands on. I almost bought a GameCube today. I was like, they're fine. Mm. I'm sorry, not that Dreamcast. Yeah, there's a lot. Like, I, now that I have that TV, and now that I know like everything works, like I'm, I think it's happening. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's happening. <laughs> you can start Silent Hill. You're right. I can. Yeah. 
I gotta get a couple new memory cards. I'm gonna track those down. See if they work. Get those nice yellow and black ones. Like like the third party ones where they're like it's yellow with a like black grip on it for your thumb, and they hold like so much on them. Apparently, that's probably not a bad idea. Or those clear ones. Are those Sony official though? I don't like, know. Like the you know what I'm talking about the like red and green like clear like kind of like the 64 controller. Oh, or, I, that's like, what the, I had. The translucent ones. I had a green one like that. It was like yeah. pop, oh, close to your shirt color. Yeah, I think they're like 32 mega. Maybe uh, probably eight. Well, eight's the standard. Eight was standard. I don't yeah, know. For, I forget. Um, yeah, it was fun though. I love that flea market. I love that little place that we went to. As soon as we walk in, I know where the place is. So, like my body's just like gravity's pulling me right there. So I'm walking, and Matt is walking with me because he's never been there before. So he's just kind of following my lead. And then I'm talking, and I realize that my brother is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Turn around. Dude's haggling with some guy about knives, like right when you walk in, and I walk over and I'm like, uh, "It wasn't 20 yards from the door." I, you, we barely. There's we always that there. one vendor at a flea yeah. market with knives. Yeah, and Sean's the fucking yeah. idiot who's over there, like, "What up, young? Can I get a knife?" Also got Just baby like, guns and laser pointers and oh God. fireworks <laughs> or something. It was really, really good. Uh, yeah, pretty dope. Um, I like it. Did not buy any vapes or vape accessories, so I'm pretty sad about that. But I think you... was that place closed, or were they still open? No, they that place was still open. Oh, the vape, yeah, the vape, vape store was open. Was open. They're always the, open for. Was heard heard it through the vape vine. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, flea market's always a good place. Got beeped at. We were standing oh, yeah. before we walked in. And Sean was. <laughs> I had to like get Sean inside before he like threw something through somebody's windshield. Jeez. Some woman pulled up and like instead of just like driving into the parking spot, she just laid on her horn. As it wasn't even like she was like trying to do like the beep. It was like beep. It was like beep. Get the, like... It was like get the fuck out of my way. Oh, because you you were just crossing in front of the car. We were we because uh, Sean was smoking and we were kind of in the parking the empty parking spot next to his car uh, and she was trying chilling. to pull through. She so first of all, there. she did the illegal thing and right. pulled through. She wanted to do a pull through. So that's illegal, first of all. And then she had the audacity to lay the horn at Laid us. Laid on it. And, and it Sean, wasn't... Sean was like, oh, what? And I was like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. It's time to go. Let's go. Let's get inside. Then he walks in. Knife. Yeah. There wasn't any other parking spots. It was, oh, there, there were a lot Clearly, of there was the yeah. one that she pulled through. There were, yeah, there was one there. Could have just stopped there. Yep. There was I uh, ate within an arm span, probably. Yeah, but we did have to talk about breakfast. That was one of the best parts of the day. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Sounds like a good morning. How did you? This is your first talk about breakfast. It was and it was a lot of a lot of first actually. Yeah, talk about breakfast. It was good. I got the sausage quesadilla. Okay, it was weird. Never I had was, it. Like quesadilla i'm so used to biting and it there being steak and cheese and the fire sauce right yeah. a little weird there being some egg and sausage it was a good surprise this every Different. bite felt a little bit off until the last the last piece i got it yeah and then it, it finally in and i Dude. enjoyed it for all it was is that what, did we get talk about breakfast when we were looking for the nes this, classic for the yeah i almost said, the uh, yeah, I almost switch. said switch too yeah, but yeah, we yeah. Didn't look for <laughs> no yeah nes classic yeah yep we gave I, up i forgot what i had on that we went and got that we got the crunch wrap uh yeah, yeah, yeah. With those cinnamon balls. Oh, uh, yeah, like the two. So good. Or like one. <laughs> <laughs> I felt shorthanded. <laughs> I know. Never have enough. Yeah, very good stuff. Um, Mark, you got a rad shirt on. Thanks. It's a little, little, little bright for my taste, but I like it. I like the art. It's, it's a good brightness. Yeah. It's a good color. I'm usually wearing like muted or black. No, this is good. <laughs> Stands out. It's a nice spring color. Um. Yeah. Are you buying that on Tuesday? Yes. I guess we should tell people who can't see your shirt. Yeah, oh, it's uh, it's ukulele. Yes, this is from Fan Gamer. Yeah, um, I am. I've been watching like last night. I just watched like five reviews on it. Basically, uh-huh. I just skipped to the towards the end where they're like give their overall feelings towards it, and they everybody kind of shares like the same consensus about it. We're like. It's okay. Like it's a decent game. Yeah. It's doing nothing new because of, like everybody. I mean, obviously, it's a successor. I get sure. that. But everybody is using that... Against it? In a way. We're yeah. like, it wasn't... It's not doing anything too different. Everything has been done before with Banjo-Kazooie, but that's all I kept hearing. And I'm like, all right, but as somebody who didn't play those games, I mean, yeah. I'm aware of what's in them. I've seen gameplay. I just haven't played it myself. I don't give a shit. Yeah, like, I feel like that's the point of this whole game, is that 
it wasn't gonna like blow our fucking minds like it's just gonna be a fun little platformer i mean granted i heard there were some like bugs and stuff too but say, that's there's what a patch i'm concerned with that. Like, I, heard I heard the pc version issues. is the superior version because mm. like xbox one is apparently like the worst one interesting uh yeah. playstation seems okay i haven't heard too much about that one but yeah yeah, apparently there's patches being made for like performance stuff. When's the Switch version out? Is that day and date? <laughs> I have no idea. Did you look it up at all? I tried finding it, but I couldn't find anything. Like Wikipedia had like a separate thing, but it just said 2017. It didn't say like oh weird. Come at the same or I think days. it had like a W uh, next to it, or, like two Ws. Double scroll. I don't know if that meant anything. Hmm. But yeah, I don't. I think it's lighter with Switch just because of their halt with the Wii U. Interesting. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably start with pc first just to see if my computer i'm sure my computer can handle it but probably you you're able to run other things that are yeah you know i think worst case i'll just get on playstation huh. but i think it's i forgot i keep forgetting that it's like 40 bucks oh it is that's not bad yeah yeah it's not bad at all taking the ration and clank approach but smart yeah, it's smart but like like i haven't seen a review that didn't mention that like they were experienced players from previous rare games or whatever like I, I i never got that like neutral someone who wasn't a crazy banjo fan right like you like you know how like, you're having that trouble reviewing um arkham arkham knight city knight probably knight Wh- which one knight. which one was the most recent knight knight you know, yeah i remember you were having trouble reviewing that like you took right. your time because you wanted to review it not only as a game but you're trying to separate being like a batman fan right right, right from right. it yeah. I think everybody was just being just a banjo fan and just reviewing this. Mm. So it's like there's still people who haven't played those games. Yeah. So I feel like there should be a more separated. Uh, huh. Well, I guess that's gonna come from Mark on the yeah. dot com. <laughs> <after> the <laughs> fucking games out. Uh, I'm excited about ukulele, but I I'm going into it like full well, thinking it's just gonna be a banjo game with different characters. Basically, and I mean, shovel knight. That, that's what everyone's saying. In HD. Yeah. The Banjo 3 that nobody ever got. So, it's, you know. It can't be Mighty Number no. 9, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it were? Like, the joke going around was that, like, uh, th- this game is just in the middle because, like, it's, like, it's not, what was it? They were trying to make a joke towards Rare. Like, it's not yeah. Rare, but it's not well done. Uh, it's frightening. It's uh, medium. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I get it. Uh, before we jump into now playing, I did buy... Three more things this week. Oh. One, two, three. I bought Tom Nook. That's right. Timmy and Tommy, Mr. Rossetti, and Amiibo form. Because Target had them on sale for $4.49 a piece. It's weird. It was just those specifically. It wasn't. It was all the Animal Crossing line. But those are the only three out of the Animal Crossing line that are worth a shit buying. Because the rest of them are fucking Blathers and his dumb wife. <laughs> or whatever she is. <laughs> I don't care what she <laughs> is. sister. Fine. <laughs> There's a totally different relationship there. Literally, every time I'd walk into Target no, for I the longest time was we were arguing that it was like it was either his daughter, his wife, or his yeah. sister. And like, I always just, I thought it was his dumb fucking wife. And I thought I it was always, his daughter, but it's yeah. his sister. I would always flip out about it because I'd walk into Target and it'd literally be the only amiibo that was there for the longest time. And it got to the point where Katie just we'd walk into Target and we'd walk back and she's like, "Why are you going? You you know it's just his fucking dumb wife." And I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> And now when we go, there's more than that. But as I'm like scanning and looking and trying to see different ones that I might grab, she's like, oh, they got it. And picks up Blather's fucking stupid wife. And then I throw it <laughs> and I throw her. Yeah. Five miles over. Yes. Hit someone in the head. But I got it. The Amiibo collections. You're it's running out of room there on that shelf. It's up there. It's, I, I'm feeling good about it. Like I'm starting to feel real good about Amiibo. Like I've... Something clicked. You know what I mean? Where like before it was like, yeah, I just want some of the, but now I'm like, maybe I need to have all of them. Maybe they oh, all need to be God. there. <laughs> you just love throwing money Slippery down the garbage. slope. What do you mean down the garbage? Look how great they look. I think it's the right thing to do. I think it, I mean. I think it's the right thing to do. To, to get them all? Nah. I'm going to buy you a lighter so you can just burn your money. It's probably a better use of it. Got one. Oh, perfect. Yep. I don't need to buy anything. Oh, nice 7 Eleven. Yes. <laughs> Only the best. Where's the Wiz Khalifa? Or, or Wiz Khalida? The Wiz Khalifa Amiibo? No, the, <laughs> the lighter. That's it, also in Amiibo. It's coming oh my god, there's a Wiz Khalifa Amiibo. I will buy it. You said that about a Crash Bandicoot one, and you didn't. Oh, and Skylanders? 
I don't own any of these games. Well, I own all of them. <laughs> I was going to say. That's what it is. Let's, uh, let's go to Now Playing, where we talk about what we've played since we last sat down and met Mark. Start us off. Breath of the Wild. Great. We've all played the same game, yeah. right? I can jump in this conversation oh! this week. Actually, you guys were pretty spot on with yesterday. I mean, last episode. With, with what? When when we were talking about now playing, and you were talking about Zelda, and how like with the second divine beast. Oh, I, I don't remember how what we, we said. I think we assumed where you were going. I yeah. forgot what we said exactly. Did we're, didn't we like start assuming where he was going next? I th- I think it was just talking about just just me like finally like fighting that beast or did or I did beat it or something like that. I don't remember. I. I I'm not. I'm not too sure now myself. But but yeah, I did that. Okay. Um, I felt like an idiot because. All right, because, what are maps used for, everybody? Uh, looking. Navigation, correct. Yes. When has a map ever controlled a beast to flip them on their side? Ah, uh, what was your second beast? The lizard. Okay. Yeah. What was your first? The elephant. Okay. Yeah. So I, you know, skipped all the dialogue of like, because I, because I read it before with the other divine beast, like I get it. I have to do puzzles in here and well, wait, activate the machine. Wait, the first one you moved his trunk. Yeah. Right. But I forgot that I used a map to do it. Oh. Cause it's been a while. And then this whole time I'm like, how do I get here? I know what I need to do. I just Got don't it. know how to do it. I knew, like, I knew how to solve every puzzle that I could not access to before. Yeah. Jokes I didn't know. And I was like, you tell me how to, I had to use the fucking map to flip this lizard. Yeah. Why, I, I was trying to access this machine because I thought you had to go to that center console to move the beast. Got that it. makes more sense in my head. That's the very end of it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I feel like an idiot. I spent like an hour just like pacing through this whole thing, trying every. Little... It's okay because I did the same thing in the water impatient. one. In the water temple, I did the same thing, wandering through, thinking that I could solve the puzzle without the map. I didn't even have the map unlocked. I didn't right. know how to open that door. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... It was weird. So, now that won't leave my head, so I'll, I'll never forget that. But that's what's really rad about this game, again, <laughs> is the fact that, like, we're not... We're still not looking anything up. We're not using a guide. We're not going on whatever. No. Um, our friend James, who's been on the podcast before, got his Switch and told me he's... Because he had a long commute back and forth from work, and he said he's been playing on the train, but uh, he's like, I'm definitely not as good as some of the people on this subreddit. And I was like, I wouldn't look at that. I would not... Yeah. Pay attention to what they're doing and who cares what people are doing. Um, just let it, like, let yourself just wander. So, like, I, I left that mountain as soon as possible. That is my least favorite place in this game. Goron City? Just that, whole... Death Mountain, just all of it. Just, it can, I'm um, I don't like it. Compared to everything else, everywhere else I've been to, I just, I missed grass. I missed water. <laughs> I missed everything. That scenery. Everything was just brown and boring. Well, wait till you get to the Gerudo. Nothing but sand. <laughs> well, see, I'm saving that for last, but I have a mm. different mindset with, like, a desert as to a mountain and a volcano. I don't yeah. know why. Like, I like volcanoes, but I don't like this. The desert pissed me off because it's fucking empty. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, you can, there's... But a, I like the race more than Gorons. Gorons are my least favorite race. Yeah, no, I know. I like, I like Gerudo. Like, they literally eat rocks. <sighs> they're goofy, though. It's badass, just, though. Yeah, they're just dumb. It's... Um, <laughs> did you... Do you know about travel in the desert yet? No. Great. Like, I'm trying to head to the, the Rito village. Cool. I know where it's at now, but that's not where I'm at. The, I'm on the opposite side. I'm, like, bottom right. Mm. I'm, like, southeast. There's something called fast travel. And Yeah, but I haven't discovered any of the left side yet in this game. Oh, shit. I've only been Center Hyrule, Death Mountain, Zora's Domain. Is your map fully uncovered yet? Mm-mm. What but I have, I have more. That's that all I have. I have more uncovered though. I, I'm getting towards Death Mountain. Yeah. That's kind of where I was heading next. Because I'm doing but everything. I, but I went through when I got to the Zora domain. Okay. Yeah. Got all my auras mixed yeah, up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I, there was like a mini boss at the top of the mountain where the electric arrows are. Yeah. And I wanted Lionel. to beat his oh, ass. Oh, the Lionel. Yeah, I wanted to beat his ass. Um. And he kept beating my ass. So yep. I was like trying time. So I worked my way down and I got to Gerudo. Hmm. Mm. And then I stopped there. I, was, I think I got enough shrines, and I went back. And 
I just, that's where I, that's what I took care of. The week. Lionels are still the only thing that really give me any trouble in the game. Everything else, I kind of they're just, cool looking though. They are, and I found some other ones that are like fucking scary. Yeah, I think there's like white ones. Yeah, that one. Um, Fuck that. Oh, the albino ones. Yeah. But now I'm in some like tropical village with like Islander Hylians. I don't even know what that is. It's like they're like beachside. Oh, you're or... southeast. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got there. I just actually I just found that yesterday for the first time. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's where I'm at. So uh, I'm like on the yeah. I'm, I'm opposite of where I need to be. Oh. Because Rita Village is. Hmm. Up. Yeah. Up left. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Have you been on a boat before? On a raft, rather. In this game. Yeah. I've been on that that sailboat, but they use the leaf to. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you knew about the leaf thing. Yeah, because cool. I, f- I found that island. Event Tide Island. That that's near the Hateo Village. Hateno. Yeah, with the big yeah. telescope or whatever. That like, island where like all the way you, in the distance where they're, you they're, land they're, there yeah, and, and it, it's it's apparently a shrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a challenge. They strip you of all your shit and yeah. you gotta like put orbs in these holes and. Yep. Yeah, that I've, was interesting. I think I, I did that backwards. I've tried it twice now. I fought the Henoch first. I don't know what I did, but I just I've gotten fucked up both times I've tried it, and then I've been like, oh, I don't feel like doing. I was trying to do something really cool, and I couldn't pull it off. What? I only had two metal weapons. It was raining. Henoch was mm. fighting me, mm. so I was like, oh, I'm about to get struck by lightning. Yeah. I was like, you know what? No, I'm not, because I'm gonna throw this bitch. Yep. So I'm charging it up, throwing it, and then right before the lightning was about to come down, it broke. When it, uh, it, it broke right before the lightning could come down, so uh, I only had a sword and a spear. I was like, oh, this would have been so cool and so majestic. I would have screenshot it. Oh, uh, no. I did one the other day. There was a shrine I found. It was... Have you ran into the bird with the accordion? Koss, yeah. I think his name A couple was. times. Yeah, he had, um, like, stables and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah, he's a stables, and then if you find him in random areas, he'll give you, like, a, a little poem or a song that yeah. he sings, and it tells you about um, a shrine in the area. It's like a riddle you have to solve. Yeah, mine's about, like, finding some cash. Like, I have, like, a hidden stash somewhere cash of, like, money. money. Yeah. Oh, sure. Huh. I think I got that one the other day, and I haven't. It's near that it. island. He's like on the cliff yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's another one he has where he says something about. Um, I don't even remember what it. I, I can't remember the the limerick at all. But whatever the answer to it is, is stand on top of this fucking thing and call lightning down from the sky. And it says mm-hmm. something like when the hero calls lightning or something like that. And I was like, uh, all right. So I like charge up a weapon. I tried to throw it like you, and nothing would happen. So I think I was, you can just like leave it there. I tried that. And it's um, still like I maybe I didn't sit there long enough, but I sat there for what felt like a yeah a no while. while. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm strong enough. Let's make shit happen. I just stood there and I was like, come to me, motherfucker. And I let the lightning come down. The, the making of me, video, murder me. That Nintendo did. Those videos. Yeah. videos. They yeah, showed. They, they showed somebody leaving a sword there, and it yes. just like. And I was like, that's why I tried it. I was like, oh yeah, that thing. I can do that, but. Yeah. Um, I'm finally back in it. Like I, it, I think I talked a little bit last week about that. That feeling of like, yeah. I want to be in it, but I'm just not there. I, now I've crossed back over. I'm in it. Um, until last night. Last night was a weird fucking night. I texted you. Um, weird. Uh, I guess PSA for people with a switch. Um, I think they're working on it, but if you're somebody who plays it docked a lot careful with that on how long you play because apparently people are getting reports that their screens are being warped by the heat i saw that i also think <laughs> fuck everything but then but i don't know how long it takes to do that if, if it even is doing anything significant i don't know i've anytime i see these like weird fringe cases, even if it's not true i'd just rather be safe than sorry I, I saw a picture of that but anytime these weird fringe cases happen i just i don't i think that it's I mean, like, I, I get it. I can see why if it is a thing because the plastic is so close and whatever, and it does get a little warm. But, like, again, like... I think it's like this. If you worked in a courthouse, you would assume that everyone in the world is a fucking criminal because all you see all day are the bad things or the bullshit that happens in the world. There are thousands of people who never, ever have to walk into a courthouse. Ever. Billions, maybe, of people who never have to walk into a courthouse. I mean, I don't have to be in a courthouse. I know people are... Bingo. You've never been to one. Who needs to go to one? Right? My point is, there's. it's very easy to post a picture of some bullshit that happens to your Switch. I didn't even see a picture. I just... I saw a picture. Uh, I, I was just, it was just word of mouth. I saw one. It's. A, I think that there's a lot of things... 
with like any technology that we have. Yeah, like there was a video I saw where day one everybody got a switch and was like, "Look at this fucking piece of shit! It's all broken. The screen won't start up. There's weird beeping sounds." I'm right. like, I didn't have any of these problems. Right, and most people won't have any of those right. problems. But so. there's three very loud, very pissed off people who post it to every single subreddit they can, yeah. and on 4chan, and on NeoGaf, and yeah. on yeah, Twitter. This one to me didn't come off as like douchey. It was always like, "Oh, this was unexpected." Like. I don't know. It, it no, seemed, I, it seemed I know. more I'm, concerning than, I like, just, fuck Nintendo. But, I don't know. That might have been that person's reaction. Well, good thing I haven't played a dock for, like, the last, like, three weeks, so. I mean, that's all I've been playing is dock, but I haven't had any problems. My screen's not scratched either, you, like, yeah. everyone else's no. head, so. Again. Whatever. I, I think it's just dirt people being dirt bags. <laughs> Teenage dirt bags. Here we go. Here it is. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> it's the word of the month. <laughs> uh, Breath of the Wild is a, a pretty good game. I'm a... Uh, I think 91 shrines now. Dang. But I've only got like 63 Korok seeds. So I don't, I got, I still got a ways to go on that because there's uh, 900 of the fucking things. Oh, the seeds? Yeah. Oh my God, how much They're inventory do you need? Uh, apparently, you cap out your inventory at 440. I feel like I don't need that much. Once you get like the Master Sword, I feel like you don't need. You would think that, but it's. I guess if it's raining, you gotta make switch your weapons. Uh, no, the there's <laughs> other things. Oh. Uh, yeah. The Master Sword cannot break, but yeah. there's reasons why you might not be able to use it. I can tell you if you want to know, but it's just... No, it, no I'll figure it out. It's, I mean, it's I nothing. still have to find the Deku Forest, so... Yeah, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's not like the biggest whatever. I think we're like getting to a point now where we can start to talk about things, but I'm still trying to be careful to not ruin anybody's experience. I finally just had someone tell me that this sword exists. The Master Sword? Yeah. I mean, it's in yeah. the trailer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's well, in the it's, game. <laughs> I, know. I know the master sword's in the game. It's it's just, in the I, title, I'm like. finally now, like I think, starting to get remnants of Link finding out that the yeah, master sword yeah, exists. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah the, it's a fucking Zelda game. The master sword's going to be in it. God no, but damn. like before it came out, like I was like, I, I don't know. It's been on the cover oh, of every game. Bullshit. I, I was going to be a master. sword I knew it would be, but I was like, how's it going to work? Is it going to break? Is it? Wait. Wh- how is? Wh- why would you need anything else after you have the master sword? And it's like, oh, well, you do. Well, they show it all like rusty and shit. So I'm mm-hmm. guessing you have to like temper it or. Yeah, you just shine it up. It. Uh, I am not. I won't answer it. Uh, no, but I also won't. You have to sacrifice Zelda. <laughs> yeah, you do. You have to it's take me forever to beat yeah. this game. You have to melt her down, and she becomes Fee, and then oh my god, you know, it's the sword. Uh, Fee doesn't come back, right? Not to my knowledge. Okay, good. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> no, no, no. Much different than that. Um. Did you play anything else besides Breath of the Wild? I did play another Zelda game. Not to jump on your now playing, but I played um, A Link to the Past a little bit more. Um, I found the Master Sword in that. No, this is your... Not your first time playing this, right? Link to the Past? Right. No, no, no. Okay. Sorry. No, I, I beat it back on the Wii. That was my right. first time playing it. Right. Never okay. had a Super Nintendo. But yeah, I, I jumped into that again. Found the Master Sword. Could not pull it out of the ground. Don't know what you have to do to get out of the ground. Don't remember. <laughs> But I also don't want to look it up. I want to just did rediscover. You, you found the right one? Maybe not. There's, I feel like I did. Because there's fake ones. There's fake ones, and when you go to pull them out, whatever. But I feel like I found the right one finally, because it looked... I remember it. Was that like, is it like the first thing you're doing? Is going right to the sword? Yeah. You shouldn't do that. I know that. I know there's something else i got to do to trigger it. It's very... Uh, let's just say Ocarina did a lot for the Link to the Past. I know. I gotta travel back in terms in of formula. Gotta so. travel back in time. That was one of the cool things about Firing up Ocarina again it was like my muscle memory came back. I just started playing songs in the Ocarina. Yeah, you have to listen to what's his name, Sarahasala, whatever. I couldn't find him. And Night Shyamalan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, did you play anything else? Uh, did I mention Blaster Master Zero last time? I don't know, but you can mention it now. Tell me about Blaster Master Zero. Yeah. Uh, it the screenshots and video looked not as pleasing, I guess, as to playing it like. This is the Switch one, right? Yeah, like it, it's 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 fine. Like you know, it's 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 Blaster Master, but like when you, I mean, the side scroll stuff is fun. When you get into the little like top down, it feels like a Zelda type game with mm. with guns. And, oh, cool! Like, it, it's interesting. Like it's it, it it all blends together pretty well. It just I don't think yeah the video and screenshots don't do it justice. Okay, that's it's better I, than that's it looks. what I wanted to say. Yeah, that's it's pretty good. Ten um, bucks, right? Uh, yeah, ten bucks. I almost bought that last night because I was like sitting on the couch. And I was like, I want to play something else on Switch, but I don't know what I feel like playing. And I was looking through the shop and I'm like, I can't wait for a year from now where I don't have to do this shit. 
where I can just like I'm I'm good. Uh, at the point where um there's stuff that are it's off that list on the on the store page and you can't access a page two. I know that. I was like, we're shoveling it. <laughs> yeah. It's not on the front page anymore. I know. <laughs> How do I find it? I have to search for it. You have to search for Shovel Knight. You have to know that something's there. So I went to the website and I was like scrolling through and looking at everything that's been released. But I was just like, "Ah, yeah. Got snipper clips? Uh, Yeah. Uh, You know what? I saw something else the other night. Yeah, you did. I was, I logged (laughs) on and I went, who's playing games right now? And I went and I went, oh, cool. Mark's on. Good. I figured you'd see it. Mark's playing Zelda. This is great. We can talk about Zelda a little bit more. Wait a second. What the fuck? <laughs> Mark's... And then I was like, oh, he might be with his friends. I was like, no, it's Thursday. He's not with anybody. He's just playing Just Dance by himself. I played the demo. God damn it. Alone? Yeah. This wasn't a friend? Yeah, of course. It was... I w- okay, so it was weird timing, too. I was uh, I was in my bathroom. See? See? And I was fixing my toilet. And then I was already... I already had my Switch in there because it was my poop game. Okay. So after I fixed the toilet... Wait. What? Just di- go ahead. <laughs> I want to keep the it, yeah. I it was already thing. downloading in the background, so I was playing Zelda. And a then, proper poop game. And then I, I you know I put it on its kickstand on the shelf. Sure you did. So I could fix the toilet. Then I washed my hands. Then I, then it finished, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see what I can do. I thought there'd be more songs to access. It's just one song. I'm like, well, this was a waste. Is it single ladies? No. Is it a good song at least? No. What was it? What is it? It's that whip nay nay song, whatever. Oh shit. Is watch, that the... watch me whip or whatever, watch me nay nay. Hair back and forth? Whip. Whip sure. watch me nay nay. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah. No, so I a bad song. so like I took the little joy kind off and I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll just play this right here right now just to see like I barely moved. I barely moved. I just moved my arm in yeah. whatever way. And I was like, Well, eh, all right. Why not? She hit the whip hard. Mm. Yeah, I just punched my toilet. Mm. <laughs> and then you gotta, you gotta do a little nay nay. I mean, I played Dance Central a lot, mm. and mm. that was pretty fun. So I just wanted to see if it's. What exactly? How did. I mean, I get how it works. Yeah. But like, I, don't know, I just wanted to do it. Just fuck mm. it. We Can't. tried it out. Would I pay 60 bucks? No. No. Mm. It's all right. Wait for uh, E3. Ubisoft. They're going to come out. With the Just Dance bullshit, but this time they're gonna be holding Joy Cons. But Just Dance actually, like, I mean, I like, I know we were joking when we played at the event thing, but it's actually like it's, it's, it's a fine game. It's not the worst thing in the world. Hmm. But if I was if I was to ever buy it though, I would not be, like, it would have to be like a party game. I think. Hmm. That makes sense. That's how it's always advertised. Yeah. Like, I don't just, think anyone expects you to. It's sit just, in it's your just weird. Like, like if any, if anybody dance. opened a door in my bathroom and just saw me, just like. <laughs> like in front of the toilet, like there's a shelf unit. It's just I can explain. I, I promise. <laughs> so, <laughs> confirm, just dance. You can play in kickstand mode. My pants were up too, just in case anybody was wondering. Yeah, but, I figured you left them just dangling. Yeah, just pants for, down around my ankles, whipping Nene. You know, that's that's how <laughs> I do it. Uh, yeah, that that one threw me off. I was like, I'm just utilizing the switch, man. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> uh, Matt, you did a terrible thing this week. <laughs> Speaking of I did not do it. a terrible things. thing. You did. I did not. You want to tell them what you did? I did. It's not a terrible thing. I uh, went to my little Battle.net client and re-downloaded me some Hearthstone. See? Told you. Mm. And I've actually kind of been playing, not nonstop, but the bulk of my playing has been Hearthstone the last two days here. All right. Bye. Did you play anything else? Because <laughs> I don't need to hear it. I mean, I did a little bit of Overwatch with my friends. See, what the fuck? What is this podcast about <laughs> with you two? This shit, that shit... Well, to be fair, he fixed capture the flag. Oh, that's good. I haven't, I haven't come back to that game for like a few months now. And capture the flag's my shit. All right. I don't care about anything else. You can play Conquer. All right. Capture the flag. Hearthstone's fucking dope. I downloaded a demo for King of Fighters, but I didn't play it yet. Mm. I heard that one got a big update recently. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's so good about Hearthstone? I don't know. It's just I'm, it's just something about. The oh. ease of it, but it's like in depth. There's a lot more mechanics now than what I've where I've left at. That's what I wanted to say when we first got introduced on the podcast. I just wanted to go Gwent, 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 <laughs> Gwent, <laughs> Gwent. <laughs> bullshit! It's such bullshit. Nobody would say it ever again on here. <laughs> Who knows? I might graduate from Hearthstone and start playing Gwent. Who knows? I, you guys broke all the rules. <laughs> Um, is there anything to note about Hearthstone? Hearth, 
Don't. No, my favorite thing to do in that game is the arena stuff. I don't really play ranked. I'm, I'm not very good at making a deck unless I'm looking at a guide online. Mm. Uh, but arena, it's it's you pretty much build a deck from a selection. So you start your arena. Uh, you get three heroes to choose from. You pick. And then from there, you get presented three cards. You pick a card. You get presented three more cards. You pick a card. And you do that 30 times. You build your deck. And then it's a race to... Uh, either 12 wins or three losses whatever comes first but if you get three losses depending on how many wins you have your rewards vary like the rule of thumb is i think it's like five you get your your earnings back that you you put in to start the arena run that's my favorite thing to do just because i don't know the cards anymore at least not like i used to when i was religiously playing it back in college so this is like a good way for me to learn cards, but also have a level playing field because I don't have all the cards still. I would need to buy them and fuck that noise. Mm-hmm. I never did that in the past, so I'm not starting that now. But yeah, uh, I like the arena stuff. Hmm. I've played a few of them and get my ass kicked because I don't... I used to be good at knowing what was coming. I don't know the cards well enough yet to know what's commonly played in certain situations. Hmm. But once I learn that, I'll get my arena stuff going again hmm. is it this is your favorite mode to play arena yeah and her yeah i read another fun one is if you open you've got to do it right oh, from the mac client you hit yep. launch pad mm-hmm. which opens up all of your applications got on the it. mac and you drag the hearthstone client to the trash can icon mm-hmm. and then you empty the trash oh, okay. and that's a really fun mode to play <laughs> got it yep cool 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 Fuck you uh, you're welcome <laughs> You are very welcome. Did you play Drawn to Death? No. Me neither. <laughs> All right, moving on. Yep. Play Tearaway. Oh! I forgot that was last month. Yeah. yeah. Do you like it? I was a little confused at first about the controls, but then they let me like actually control the character, not just guiding him with a light. Right. So I was like, all right, I'm liking it. It's cute. It's charming. I get it. Did you make it far or did you just kind of like... Mm. Mm. Just, just, glance at it. Just, like, yeah. just like the first like 15 minutes. Whatever. Yeah. I, I'm gonna try drawn to death before we play before we record next time. But I last night I, I fired it up and then it was like patch and I was like Ugh. I will I will play with you because I'm curious too. It's just I've been playing other shit. What else have you played? I've played the fuck out of MLB all week long. Yeah, you have. We played some of that too, which we is did. on the website now. You can go see it. We played uh, accurate results of the first of opening day. Somewhat, yeah. Totally accurate, nine to three or nine to <laughs> whatever it was. Um, yeah, we did Blue Jays at Orioles, and then we did um, the other games like baseball NES. We did, yeah, we did the baseball NES. We did Super, Super baseball, baseball 2020, and then Roger Clemens, Roger Clemens MVP baseball for the Sega Genesis. But we did um, Road to the Show. Did you watch that one? I tried yeah. out to be a, a pitcher. Is that the wait? I saw a thumbnail. Yeah. And this guy looked like you. Yeah, yeah, I made a character. Tried him out for the MLB. <laughs> That's Major League Baseball. You should you should watch that one. That was a good one. I uh, I learned how to baseball. I learned that Matt knows a lot about baseball. Like Yeah. I heard about that in the last episode. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Fucking nerd. Yeah, I mean <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, what'd you do in MLB? I still so I started a couple franchises. And I'm doing two different things. What? All right, continue. One, I so saw I haven't started a new road to the show, but I continually keep going back to my guy from last year, mm. who's already ninety nine overall. I just hit dongs with him all the time. Dongers. Just yeah, I have twelve games in. I think I'm at eighteen already. It's that's a ridiculous pace. Uh, but no, I'm doing two different franchises, both with the Orioles. I'm doing one where I simulate until there's a critical situation, and then I hop in and do the critical situation. So it, for those that don't know what that is, um, it's a new new mechanic they threw in the franchise mode to kind of get you through more games but get you playing more. So the game was simulate, and as it's simulating, uh, it might take three or four games for one to pop up, but a situation will occur where it feels like, hey, you maybe you might want to hop in here. And it could be you're trying to end the game with your closer in the ninth inning and you're only up one run. It could be you're down two runs in the ninth. It could be something like, hey, this batter that has a seven-game hit streak is the eighth inning and is probably his last at bat because you want to try to extend his hit streak. There's all kinds of stuff like that that will throw you in. So I'm doing that kind of franchise that's kind of getting me into the game but letting me kind of get through the season so I can do some off-season stuff. And then there is an exclusive franchise, which is the one I've logged the most time in, 
where I only quick manage. Mm. I do not play a game. I only do that quick simulation thing that you saw if you watched our video on Monday for yeah. the later innings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only do that. Um, that's the one I've sunk the most time in, and I am 110 games into my first season. Holy shit. This is cool. You, so what you could do if you didn't see the video, you you just like – you call the shots pretty yeah. much from the bench. You're just you're yeah. you're doing it. You're just not playing the actual game. You're just saying throw the ball, hit the guy in the fucking head with the ball, <laughs> uh, whatever. Like throw it to first, throw it to this. You're just yeah. I mean, it's, there's not much to do when there's no one on base. But like someone gets on base, you can tell that runner to steal yeah. before you actually do the at bat. You can you know if someone's on third, you can choose for that person to either mm-hmm. swing at legitimate pitches or you can try to have them hit a sacrifice fly and mm-hmm. you know give give themselves up for a run. There's a lot of – it gets more in-depth as you add in uh, base runners and stuff. Sounds like chess. Yeah, you basically – There's I mean, a strategy you, element you, to it. Definitely. There is. You sacrifice control for time, but, you know, you're able to – it sounds like run through 110 games pretty quickly. I mean, this was something I did all the time back in the PS2 MVP baseball games. Uh, just – I all the time sent, sent in a very similar UI control kind of environment. Mm-hmm. This is – right up my alley and it's nice too because the ui gives you everything you need like it gives you season stats it gives you it's not just like this is the player against this person no context like yeah. you kind of have context for that person's hot or cold you have context of right. the energy of that person you have context for what they've done for the day not just for the season so if someone's 0 for 4 and you might have a better matchup on your bench you may want to sub them in like you you have enough context to get the the job done it is very well put together, and I have 110 games in with the Orioles. How many games are in a season? 162. Wow, that's a lot of games. We're not we're not doing so hot, not oh. anymore. Mm. I'm two games above 500. Like I'm doing good, but uh, we're not. We, I'm like six games out of the playoffs, and mm. I'd rather be closer at that point in the season. Mm. You but can always you jump in, know. take a little more control over it. I could, but I want to kind of exclusively do that one. My See critical situations out. one, that's the one I'll maybe hop in more games as we get going. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, did you play anything else? That was really pretty much it. MLB, Hearthstone, and it was a, not much of Zelda, but it was enough to get through that first dungeon. I was finally in for a while. I heard you played MLB and Hearth and uh, Got it. Zelda. Yeah. Zelda. <laughs> I didn't hear the other one. Good. Got it. I'll write that down. Um, I... I didn't play a ton else other than uh, Zelda. I didn't play any near this week, which I am kind of sad about. But yeah, I still haven't got Persona yet. Zelda, yeah. That came out. Yeah, oh did. shit. Yep. Ugh. No, Zelda took precedent. I was kind of just like I I fell into that. My day off has been the whole. I it's been a while since I spent the whole day just playing games. Like didn't shower, that mm. kind of thing. Just like woke up, came down, made coffee. Don't remember much else. See, I'm not in that part. I I just beat the dungeon. Or yeah. like the the divine beast or whatever, and I can't still get myself to spend more than like an hour or maybe two hours at the most with Zelda. I Usually, can't... like so, what got me through it for the longest time was I would have a story based objective, and then I'd let myself get lost. So I know that I need to go here, but along the way, if I find something, something shiny, something mm-hmm. weird, something new, I would <clears throat> go after it. Other than that, um, I was always trying to get to the next story beat, and now it's what's hard for me is I've uncovered all of the map. I feel like I've been everywhere. I haven't been cuz I'm I keep finding new things the further in I get, but like you look at the map and it's like I, I don't see how there'd be any more shrines in that area. And unless you kind of like go there and wander in the like foothills and all the weird places, you you're yeah. Like besides the Gerudos, I'm kind of just getting the familiar out of the way. <clears throat> yeah. Like all right, I'm familiar with Zoros, I'm familiar with Gorons. I get that. I haven't Rito, yeah, they're kind of familiar cuz of Wind Waker, but yeah. We haven't really dived too much on that. And yeah. the same goes for Gerudo. Like, we've only had one other game to dive in on that. It's true. So, I kind of... That's all... That feels new to me. So, yeah. I'm glad that I got what I got out of the way. Now oh, yeah. I can be like, now I can get into yeah, solo, like, exciting. in a more... I don't know. That makes sense. Fresh perspective. I got a lot of new attire, which has been really cool. Like, I have so many new... Uh, suits and outfits and whatever. And I've been slowly upgrading each of them at all the different fairy fountains. And hmm. It's cool. Um, yeah, other than that, like just random whatever. Jumped in a little bit of Rhythm Heaven last night. I texted you and I said how fucking weird I was feeling last night. Yeah, where... that was... I didn't know that feeling, but that, that was like, that was a spot on. 
explanation. I just I screamed because I just couldn't. I I like wasn't in the right mood for anything. Like I thought I wanted to play mm. Zelda, but I didn't. And then when I, and I just couldn't like land on anything, and I kept going through like every single thing that I own. That's kind of what landed me on Hearthstone. There's been this weird thing where like I like Mass Effect is a big time sink. Like I, right. I want to jump in and spend five hours at a time with that game. I don't have that time right now. Yeah. Zelda is it's, it's just an on and off relationship right now with me and Zelda. Me feeling like doing it. Yeah. I can, as much as I love baseball, after I've played for four hours, I think I it's can yeah. I can move on from that screen of quick managing. Exactly. Uh, and then, yeah, is like I can only play Disc Jam and Rocket League for so long, and then I I've I was like I want I want something different, and then I was like oh I'm like the movies down, like I never know what to watch because like I if I've seen it before I play it through my head in like two seconds. I'm yeah, like, exactly. Do I want to watch that again? Do I want to experience that again? I don't know. Kind of want something new. But what is there? There's nothing good as this. Yep. Like <laughs> it's the same thing. How did I say it to you? I said like it's it's like you have a craving for Taco Bell, so you're thinking about getting it, but then all of a sudden you remember the pizza's really good, and then you're like, oh yeah, and there's McNuggets. I should probably get some McNuggets. And then on your way to the grocery store, you're like, man, peanut butter and jelly's dope. Yeah, pretty much. And it's like, <laughs> and you're like, it's so you're you're just pulled in every single direction. It fucking sucks. And now I got even more bullshit to distract me. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but um, before we go to break, I have one more thing about this jam. I know the patch. If anyone's kind of tracking it with me and wondering what I'm doing now with this jam, there was a patch that re- that released competitive like skill rating. Mm-hmm. Still not ranked. I'm not ready to come back to it yet. Mm-hmm. I want like a I am a silver one division two, just like Rocket League. That's that's what I want. Are they doing that? I think they are. Okay. I think this was kind of like the groundwork. And this skill competi- this like skill rating helps with matchmaking just in general right now. Cool. So that way you're not if you suck, you're not getting stacked against assholes like me that play the game for hours. Makes sense. Uh, before we do go to break, one more thing. Cause I'm I'm feeling the itch after listening to this. But this week, Retronauts Podcast, a very good podcast, put out a portable Castlevania episode. And it was all about the three games on GBA and the three on DS. Mm-hmm. And now I'm kind of itching for for that. I kinda, like I almost grabbed Those the are my cards. Favorites. Yeah. Because I still have not played through all of them. Like I've played, I've played all of them, but I haven't completed all of them. So I hmm. kind of... I don't know. I'm I sorry I technically never completed that month. Mm-hmm. I was at right. the... Yeah, I, I saw the final boss fight, like the final form and everything. I just yeah. never went back to it. Yeah. One day. One day. Uh, well, cool. We're going to take a break and come back with some show and tell, but only going to be me and Mark. Yep. It's time for me to embark to D.C. Yep. Washington, D.C. That is. I guess set up that teleporter. Yeah. If only I would avoid the hassle of traffic Funny. and the metro <laughs> and all of this bullshit. If we could just figure out how to become the Flash, I think that be, might be. Yeah, I get struck mm. by lightning. Okay. I'm sorry, yourself. Should I hold a sword? Maybe have some chemicals around you. All right. Get drunk, carry a sword into the <laughs> into the lightning storm. Seems about. <laughs> yeah. He said chemicals around you. What if you try to become the Flash and you accidentally ended up like Daredevil? Ooh. No, even though, like, no, just the complete opposite. You're like the slowest person. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because you're in a coma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't run fast this way. Previously on CW is the slug. The slug. <laughs> Barry's in a coma again. Oh, and before I leave, it's now 3 nothing Orioles. I think this uh, 5 and 0 is really going to work out. See, told you. Very good. Um, well, Matt, thanks for hanging out. Of course, anytime. We'll see you in a week. Yep. Listeners, just hang tight. Mark and I will be right back. Mark, Matt's gone. Till next time. Till November. I went to an alpaca farm this week. What? Yes. 
That sounds great. <laughs> I like alpacas. Well, I like the idea of them. Is it different in person? They're fine. They're they're fine. I'm sure it's smelly. As <clears throat> as most animals. It wasn't as as bad as I've you know experienced. But yeah, Katie wanted to do that for her birthday. She's oh, like, yeah. I was like, what do you want to do? She's like, I just want to go to an alpaca farm. I want to kiss an alpaca on the lips. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's go for a drive. We went for a drive a little far away, like an hour and a half away, which is nice because we got to have make nuggets along the way. Oh, that's all right. Uh, so now, we had, now it's a road trip. Yeah. We, we got 30 McNuggets and just headed up the headed up 95. Did you eat all 30 before you reached their destination? We yeah we did that before we even stopped for gas. Okay. Uh, they were gone, um, and then we got up there and uh, alpaca farmers, the ones who collect the uh, alpacas and they they grow them and they shave them, mm-hmm. really really like alpacas, like a little too much. I don't know, man. They really like alpacas. Like they're really close with their. Alpacas? Not in like that weird South Park PETA episode, but like <laughs> they're just like, yeah, they're majestic creatures. I'm like, yeah, they're alpacas. Like their fur is a thousand times softer than a, a sheep. And I'm like, it's pretty soft. I'm like, no, here, feel it. It's oh, like, just spread it open as hard as as far as I can. Get get that good fur. They're like, like please, please pet my alpaca. Yeah, don't was, don't leave. We were the only ones there. It was like, oh, well, you know, that's a first sign. Uh. <laughs> so they just kind of like walked us around and they were in the middle of making stuff like they had the mill up and running and Knitting they were sweaters and blankets they were like taking the the fur and running it through a machine to turn it into yarn which hmm, cool little process but definitely a different different experience different from my annual birthday tradition of going to an arcade right but playing video games um could you uh what was it can you at that place yeah could you like take furniture and like re- like resell it or have it repainted a different color at this place with the alpacas <sighs> what was the sale of the day was it a specific crickets, crickets? yeah <laughs> yeah you got you got a little bit extra if you gave them crickets um Where were they is... pink and blue yeah they were <laughs> where is that fucking mobile game i don't know where's the direct yeah i know it's april like we need to we gotta get some shit going before e3 yeah i'm counting down the days i'm ready to go you have a month and a half <sighs> I don't know. um yeah alpacas are weird animal crossing's dope um this is show and tell this is where we talk about weird things that happened or cool exciting things that happened like when a Square Enix CEO, Yosuke Matsuda, says stuff about Nintendo Switch. Quote, our developers with strong interest in the Switch are eager to challenge themselves to find new ways for people to play games. Having more gaming platforms available is a good thing for us. I really want the Switch to succeed. We'll be developing new titles, and we'd like to port existing titles that the Switch can support as often as we can. Nintendo creates a variety of new gameplay possibilities i think other companies will come up with some surprising gimmicks using switch's unique capabilities we have our own way of doing things so we'll be marrying the switch's unique features to the kinds of games we're known for let me ask you something so do you like that he used the word gimmicks and do you find the word gimmick to be a negative term uh i usually get a negative vibe from it connotation with that word um Kind of makes the games feel like they're just going to be just for the sake of that said gimmick. I think he's like, you know, yeah. yo, these other fools are going to do some shit. That, that, who cares? <laughs> they what they just doing. have gimmicks. That's what we that's, have. We, we have is games. Fucking treasure. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm hoping that means uh, Project Octopath Traveler. <sighs> Obviously, <laughs> step one. I really would like. Um, it does look good though. It does. I would like, just give me one through six, maybe. Bring them right over. Grab the... Yeah. Well, I I mean... But, like, what versions? Do they bring over Final Fantasy on on iOS? Because a lot of those are garbage. No. No. Yeah. Never. I know. Ever. No. Yeah. (laughs) No. 
I don't know. And I'm also... Neo Geo is doing the right thing right now. I like that they're on the Switch. I wasn't expecting that. And so, they keep yeah. releasing stuff. That's the good folks from Hamster. But that's not like an iOS thing. It's not. I'm a little... so. I mean, it's not a virtual console, but like it kind of is. Right. So here's what I'm... Unofficially? What are they doing with virtual console? Like That's what his comments we bring up to you me. Three. You know that for a fact. Does it keep saying, we'll talk about this later? <laughs> but like, what does it mean? Are they just going to end up putting Super Mario World right in the store alongside... No, I feel like with when it comes to Nintendo stuff, I feel like they're going to actually like announce and do something different instead of just like pooping out third party stuff like they've been doing. You mean in the way that like 3DS and Wii U virtual consoles been or what are you? I mean no, I mean like right now with the Switch, if you go to the eShop, everything's just like it's a lot of third party stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I mean yeah, they're announcing that's coming out. The you see the coming soon stuff as well for like Mario Kart and like Splatoon whatever, but Play for your Tetris. But right, and but in between all that, you just have like, oh yeah, here's some Neo Geo games. Here's a here's some um what well, what's the one guy the company that did like the human resource machine yeah Rowan world Furrow. of goo and, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 see like i didn't i didn't expect that no i didn't either they just kind of plopped there yeah um so i feel like when it comes to like nintendo actual stuff they're like look i feel like it's it's probably gonna be a direct of some sort or to talk about all the online stuff shut yeah. everyone up finally that'd be so nice i i, I'm I don't even sure get, i don't give a fuck about it. the online stuff i could i don't care people i mean it's fine if it's paid for you know you want to I mean, you want you want good quality stuff from them. Like, I'm you fine want with them, that. Like you want them, like you want to pay them to do their job so they can stay on board of the things and make sure everything runs properly. You're not going to do it for free, like. True. But I also I just, like this is their chance to actually be good with online. Yeah. So. <laughs> Hopefully, they're good with virtual console. I'm really curious about this. Yeah, one. I really feel like they're doing what I think they're going to do. That would be great. So far, they haven't disappointed. Yeah, like so far, it'd be cool if they did the online multiplayer stuff like or if, virtual if it, console stuff yes mm. where it's like a special unique version to where like you can play online with a friend do like a two-player game or whatever and they just rework the mm. roms or coding that's a lot of work to put in each game though that would be cool though it would be but how much does that pull from development of new games oh i don't know how much money does nintendo have <laughs> they're I opening guess they, up they're opening up a theme park i guess they could hire people <laughs> yeah I don't know. I assume that's part of it. I really don't know. It probably won't be that many games. If they Whatever do they do, do, here's what I would like. I'm going to write this down for you they'll so buy, you know. They'll buy like a B team working on it. No, this is the team they need working on it. M fucking two. You ever played some M2 emulation? Why does that sound familiar? Because they're the best? I probably have. So, any of the 3D Sonic games oh, on yeah, 3DS, yeah. M2. That's right. why they're amazing. The 3D classics? Correct. I, I had the Kid Icarus. Oh, wait. I don't know if they Kirby? did those. No. They may have. I'm going to find out right now. Hmm. I know they did all the Sonic stuff. Right. Um, I think it's all under the same, like, moniker of, like, 3D Classics. Because, like, I don't know. There's the 3D Classics, and the Sonic, or the Sega stuff was 3D Ages. Oh. So maybe um, not then. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, they did. Mm, no, wait. These are all called 3D Classics. They did the Game Gear Virtual Console. Everything on Game Gear. Mm-hmm. They did all of the Sonic stuff that's or Sega stuff that's 3D. They are doing Seiken Densetsu. The speaking of Square, oh. they're doing that Switch port. Nice. Um, nice. Sega Ages stuff they did on PS2. They did any of the Sega stuff that came to PS3, which mm-hmm. was all really really good. They didn't do all of it, but they did a lot of it. Um, they did all of the, looks like all of the Sega stuff that was on the Wii Virtual Console. Developed Castlevania, well, the whole Rebirth series on WiiWare. Right. Um, they did all Game Boy Advance stuff on Wii U. So which, they're, they're pretty much good with porting. They, yes, they are your <laughs> port masters. Yeah. Um, and which they, I'm sure they are on board. But if you play through any of the stuff on Wii U Virtual Console, um, the NES games are like really dark. All, all the games are really dark. The emulation's not great. It's fine, but it's not great. Mm. The Game Boy Advance stuff is bar none. Like that stuff. That's true. Is I, I've noticed that. Top notch. Because M2 knows how to do shit. I'm sure they are working on stuff with Nintendo. They fucking better be. Uh, what was I gonna say with that? 
Yeah. So back in like high school. Yeah. Uh, I barely got it working because I just didn't know how to do it at the time. But, um, I just I figured it has to be a simple concept to make a game that was meant to be played offline online. Hmm. Um, with like emulators and ROMs, mm-hmm. I would like me and a friend would try to play uh, Contra. Hmm. And like one of us had to be a hosting server, and the other person had to, you know, they would type in the the address to that, and and connect. And, and you could do that. Yeah, we got it working. Like we, like, we, cool. we, well, there. I mean, of course, I was lag, hmm. but like we tried Super Mario World, and we did two player, and then like when it would take turns, you know, your controller would control your character. So I was like, it doesn't seem that hard of a concept if like a little program like that can do it. Imagine what Nintendo can do. I think it can be. I just wonder, yeah. do they I, do they hire up? Do they do? I mean, they oh, did I say I, I that they know. they are doing that stuff with certain games. Yeah, I just I, don't I, know like, about I, every game. Yeah, I feel like that's whatever they're doing for that month. When you get to pick a game, I feel like that's what they are. Something with some kind of online capability. That would make sense. I don't know how far it would go with online. I don't know if it's mm. just like, here, here's my score. Try to beat it. Well, I think the idea... <laughs> no, I, there was somewhere it was like... I, I I don't think they gave specifics, but I think the idea was like if they gave out baseball for free, you could each play baseball and we could go head to head yeah. from wherever we are. Which I think is a cool idea. And then, of course, all the voice chat stuff is all going to happen through your phone anyway. So. Right. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. But I I just want to be But yeah, but Square, that's um I'm happy that they're excited about this. Me too. Like after their little falling out and going with like Sony with most things and then they're coming back with Nintendo. Yeah. Like, they have been for a bit, but like not their bigger stuff. Like any of the mainstream mainline Final Fantasies haven't been on a Nintendo console since six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's good. I like that I plus cloud being in Smash. That was something, yeah. I hope the. I hope that Sega Densetsu, Densetsu. Oh my god, I love the box art. I know. I've never been so fascinated by box art. Yeah. Since like the Switch, I think for some reason, because that's all the box art's like perfect. I know, like <laughs> the Switch cases and and the art make me want to buy physical copies of Switch games. Mm-hmm. But I just don't feel like lugging that shit around. Uh, I mean, you can just keep the cartridges and like whatever i know I, I also say lugging it around like i take my fucking switch anywhere i bought yeah. this fucking backpack <laughs> and it's been sitting here for a week and a half because oh. the switch is there because yeah. i live around the corner from work so lunch i just come home from work yeah you, you don't know? really like need to go anywhere now that i have a car <laughs> um shit is okay but you do in case you do need to travel you're ready it's true no. and i am traveling conventions <sighs> just road trips yeah, conventions. I'll uh, street pass with my Switch. Oh, Parents wait. House? Thanks, Nintendo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's... there. Yes. There's reasons to do it. Yeah. And now I've got it, and it's there, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, I got a couple other things, but... You know what? Here, this one kind of ties into ports and things like that. Um, there's an interview with the developer one of the developers of steam world that whole series okay. digs yeah. or whatever's um i heard they were good i played dig those are some mark games but not Yours. the markest of mark games okay if that makes sense yeah okay if it wasn't for that the second part of the sense i'm like you always say it with such a weird tone <laughs> it's like is this like a good it's, mark because it's, it's, it's not a it's not a game was a bad thing <laughs> no like i know when there's a good mark game this is a mark game but it's not fully mark oh uh, it's it, ha- it it's the essence is there but it's not fully grasped yeah so. but something about them just i don't they're charming but it's just it doesn't scratch that itch yeah, and I didn't play the the follow up because each yeah. of them is a different. It's all set in the same world, but they're doing different yeah, just, kind of genres. I each just time. see it over dig, and I just don't care. Yeah, me too. That's and Steam. I don't care about like Steam. Yeah, I mean that's okay, but like digging, like ugh, it just yeah. sounds like work. I have to discover things. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> but what am I doing in Zelda? I'm discovering things. <laughs> Speaking of Steam, the this developer says that like. Nintendo's kind of going more Steam-like with their approach to uh, development on the Switch. Mm. So he says, uh, with the Wii U and 3DS, they started to realize that they had to get with the times. Uh, Publishing for Nintendo consoles has been, in the past, not a nightmare, but pretty close. 
They make sure that every QA quality assurance gate is good enough. It takes months and you have to do that for every region. If you fail, it takes even longer. You have to get a new slot and release dates are pushed back. That sounds like shit. Yeah. But with the Switch, we only have to make one version and only have one launch. And that's one version for the entire world. So we'll have the same version in the US, Europe, and a little bit later, Japan and China as well. It saves us so much work. They're basically taking the Steam or App Store approach, one version of the game for the entire world. Um, which is pretty cool. That's smart. Put a pin, because I, I have one little problem. With that. But um, from what I've seen, just using Nintendo's publishing tools to set up everything from sales to getting the name right on the eShop, everything like that, it's much more streamlined and more modern. Even Nintendo's approach to how they get n- new indies to join the Switch family. Nowadays, they see a good game at a convention, and they just walk straight up to them and ask them to develop for Switch. From what I know, they've never done that before, so I think they are getting with the times. They know more than anyone what they did wrong with the Wii U and 3DS in some cases as well, and they really want to fix that. Hmm. But, so one, what do you think of that, generally speaking? Um, that just reminded me of the Snipperclip story. What was that? Um, the people that made that. They, I forget their names, um, but I remember hearing that uh, they were they were animators way back. They did like a, like like flash cards in like Newgrounds or something, and then they developed that game, and then Nintendo bought it from them. Essentially, interesting. So, I didn't know that. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I had looked into it because it's <laughs> like it has a lot of Nintendo branding on it, but it's developed yeah. by a different. And I was like, oh, what is this? I looked into it and saw it was like two guys from uh, Britain. I think yeah, they, over there. they did a they did a cartoon online called the the decline of video gaming. It was like a little series, mm. I think. Any good? Uh, yeah, for its time. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty dated, but yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like this. I it, obviously it's it's good to get it into people's hands and give everybody the opportunity to get things up there, and especially for an independent developer. I, I've heard stories anecdotally where like it. Something like the PlayStation 3 and Xbox era, 360 era. Mm. Um, in order to get your games on, on the platform, you'd have to submit. And patches would cost like tens of thousands of dollars oh, to wow. submit a patch. Um, and then have it go through QA and have all of that stuff happen. So like keeping these things in mind. You think it's still like that now? No, they, they've definitely changed that a lot. Like, yeah. Sony did that a lot with the PlayStation 4, and particularly the Vita, but then really heavy with the 4. And Xbox has changed a lot as well. But right. this is early in the day where, like, this is the process they had. Because they were used to dealing with your EAs of the world, where it was like, yeah, give us $10,000 to patch your game, because we need to pay our testers to put it through QA before we put it out on our store. You know, they need to vet it. No wonder Activision didn't do shit with that Turtles game. Yeah, man. It costs money. But, because you got to think, like, if you're Sony and Microsoft and anybody putting things out on your store, if I am developer and I say, hey, here's my patch for the game, uh, and it turns out that I just wanted to be a dick and write, like, Sony sucks, fuck you, and put a bunch of tits in there <laughs> and patch it through and nobody vets it. Like, oh, shit, we just put that up. On, you know, they got to check that stuff. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Uh, yeah, like, why would we? You know what I mean? But Yeah, because, like, patches always sounds like a good thing. So... I just feel like, well, what do I have to check? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just you're fixing. You're what fixing have been what's, there. right, but yeah, no, you're, and you got to make sure it doesn't break something else because that's happened too, where and, you develop something to fix something and it breaks another part of the game. That should also push developers to wait. Sometimes you don't have the option. True. Depending on your that publisher, sucks. depending on your funds, right. like depending on whatever. That sucks too. So it's like, Dan, if you do, Dan, if you don't. But, but this, it sounds like, you know, the 3DS and Wii U were still doing that, where the other platforms had stopped doing that. Yeah. Um, and I think that still, like, you still have to go through different processes for different yeah, the territories. was ex- extremely filtered. Yeah. Like, they were even getting people who were, for for a bit, on, like, on, like YouTube or whatever, and they were, like, posting the gameplay videos. Like, they wanted, like, I their... I still are. Yeah, they wanted the revenue for it. But I think it's I think it's more lenient now, yeah. the way they're doing it. Um, it's not my, all of it. My problem with this, to completely contradict what I just said about how great it is and how easy it is to be to put your stuff out there, the race to the bottom is very real with both the App Store and Steam 
And now we're seeing it because of so much, you know, leniency within PlayStation. We're getting stuff like, uh, what's that bullshit that Matt wanted to buy? Planet 2000. Uh, and so you think Life just, of just, Black just Tiger. let anybody in? Right. I think this is rad that someone like SteamWorld, the developers there, they're able to make one game once and mm. put it out. Shovel Knight. All of these great independent developers and independent games that we know. Ukulele. They can make one version. Of, right? Mm. Great. But what happens when your Planet 2000s and your Life of Black Tiger start show? Is that what it was? Life of Black Tiger? Well, I mean, our Planet 2000 is their Shovel Knight. You never know. With no. So no. There's that, there's that person. I could probably... That person probably shouldn't exist. But that person is there. <laughs> there... Still. There... Yeah. I... No, I, I get what you're saying. Like you know, it, that's that, that's the I feel like that's the price we have to pay to get all these other games. So like, is it fair. worth it? Like, no. even as much as as exciting as it is that all that Neo Geo shit is there. Yeah, there's so much of it that it's overwhelming, and I don't even I don't. I think it's, it's hard only, to like I vet that. I think, stuff. I think it's like nine games, or I don't know. But like, you know, would you be okay with the Planet 2000 being there if you got Shovel Knight too? I mean, yes. Right. <laughs> I know that it affords certain things. It's it's the same thing. It's like, hey, yeah, let me share all this information from my phone of everything I'm looking at yeah. for the trade of I'm getting this, this, this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's certain things you have to sacrifice in order to get other cool things. But it's definitely a – I <sighs> feel like I feel like they're still going to like keep things in some kind of control, like some kind of check. Like I don't think they're just going to accept anything and everything. Like if there's just something that might be a little too vulgar, I feel like they won't take it. I still think that. I mean, yeah, I guess it depends. Yeah, because like, there's some like there's some really deep like indie games out there that you will not see the light of day. You will not see it on a console. It will be PC yeah. only. What was that one you you told us about a little while ago? It was fucking metal as fuck, just covered in blood and death. It was on Steam. Uh, it's like plague, or it was like a one word. It was just like you are in hell. There are demons and blood. Oh, and... oh, um... yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I can't think of the name. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, it was it was it was a very bleak game. Like, yeah, you're just straight up in hell. Uh, man, agony, agony. Yeah, yeah. You probably won't see that anywhere. Yeah, I don't think it's yeah no. But I don't even <laughs> think it's gonna end up on PS4 or anything. You know what I mean? Just because of, there's yeah. like nudity and and stuff like that. So yeah. So yeah, like the more like even that what's that one game that got controversy like hatred. Right. You're not gonna see that anywhere. Yeah. That's gonna be a little. What was the deal with that one? It was like the, um, was it? The, the I think it's the dialogue and it was pretty distasteful. Oh, I yeah. think other than just the type of game that it is, it's just there's no point to it. You're just blatantly killing things just for the sake of killing people. Like, there's no context. You're just oh, basically a maniac just on a shooting spree. Uh, yeah, it's a little. I get it. Granted, it's and also its word name was ripped off of Doom, but. Oh uh, yeah. It was all black and white, like an isometric view, and just a yeah. guy in a trench coat was going through, just shotgunning people. Yeah, it might not be the best time to do that. Families, that you know, I think, I'm not sure if there was kids or not. Uh, yeah. I, I think, like, in a, you know, the early 90s days, you could get away with that. You throw out a random arcade thing. Yeah. Hey, you're just a dumb guy shooting things. I mean, hell, there is a RPG Maker game out there about the Columbine shooting. Like, yeah, there's just that shit's out there. <laughs> I, yeah, it's always going to be out there, but, but you won't see it not on a, Switch. Right. <laughs> I don't think it's hitting that. Only on the dark web. <laughs> yeah. I, again, I, I, I think it's cool. So Planet 2000 looks okay in that light. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I think this is cool. But I, I hope there's still a vetting process. I, I don't want this race to the bottom. I don't want... If you go to Steam, like, it's ridiculous. I, I watched um, No Clip. Have you been watching all the documentaries? Uh, they just released one recently. Jonathan Blow with The Witness. No. And right before that, it was... I saw a different one. Um, that was the one, like, last week. But prior to that, it was uh, Crawford. Jim Crawford. Is that his name? There was one from, like, two days ago. Oh. Um, God, what was the it? The Frog Fractions guy. Those I still need to finish watching. Yeah, those rule. Um, but no, like it, it stood out to me because it was a game. I was like, oh, I know this game, and oh my god, I feel like an idiot. Oh god, I almost dropped my phone on everything. I feel like our phone cases should have moon shoes. Moon shoes. It just bounces back and forth. I mean, moon shoes aren't really that bouncy. Now I think about it. Ah, oh, maybe it was the, um, maybe it was the witness. 
The Witness is one I know that just popped up, but it's, I watched the... It seems to be the most recent. The Frog Fractions ones, um, one and two. And they are... Whoops. Yeah, um, yeah, no. I would definitely go back and finish those if you haven't seen Unless it was a different th- video series I was looking at that I thought was no clip. Maybe. But um, he talked in there about... They put out... So you know the story of Frog Fractions 2, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll still repeat it for the listeners in case they don't know. So Frog <laughs> Fractions... Frog Fractions very weird browser game that just kind of hit, became sort of a word of mouth success, gave him a lot of social cred, but not money because it was a free game you he put up on his browser. Right. Um, with the social cred, went to Kickstarter, made a Kickstarter, but the Kickstarter <laughs> said, uh, I'm not going to tell you when the game's done. <laughs> I'm not going to show you what the game is. That's what you mean, which is good because that's what Hyper Life Drifter did. We're, yeah. We're not telling you. It's... This is a little more like we're never right, going but, but, to tell you. Right. Because we're never going to show you. Because the element of surprise. Like, that's what they. That's yeah. the whole game's about. Exactly. <laughs> um, so he did quite that. And it wasn't until December that he put the game out. Um, and it was funny because like they did all these like uh, augmented reality games mm-hmm. to tell people like where the game was and when it was coming out and all that stuff. And it got to the point where somebody actually received a button that was supposed to like when you put a video up it was like hey if you are the one who gets the button you press the button and you record a video of yourself doing it and you put it online that's when frog fractions goes online dang and in reality what they did was they had somebody uh whoever the guy who did that once they saw the video was up there they patched frog fractions into the game that it ended up in uh yeah. So the huh. game itself is Glitter Mitten Grove, which probably a mark game. Probably. On like a weird day. Right. It's it's yeah. a thing where like if you I I had to be in that mode where I'm just like, you know what? I'm I wanna, like like I'm burnt down on games, but I still want to play games. I still want to play something, so I'm gonna fire up this <laughs> thing, I'm gonna build a little fairy town with little fairies flying around. That's what I'm gonna do today. Yeah, I just don't wanna think. Just yeah. um just fairy. But he talked about <laughs> Glitter Mitten Grove is the game that he hid Frog Fractions 2 inside of. Okay, that makes more sense. He And he worked with Adult Swim to publish the game. Yeah, um, which is a good move. Yeah. Uh, they put it up on Steam, and it's Adult Swim published, so whatever. It's also, no one knew that it had Frog Fractions hidden inside of it. Yeah, um, I thought they also just made Glitter Mitten Grove. I was like, wow, you took this time to make another game. It did Just to throw in this game. I would go watch the, the <laughs> no clip stuff because it's really, really fascinating. But yeah, basically, he had a friend who was making Glitter Mitten Grove <laughs> and really wanted to make that game like yeah. and whatever. And he was like, well, why don't we hide it in here? And then they he was able to go to Adult Swim and say, my friend's making this game. I want to hide it, hide my game inside of that game. Will you give us money to do that? So it gave money for his friend to be able to make the game he wanted to make. And they're just and like, for him <laughs> that's to hide everything. genius. Right. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> I found the video I got confused with, by the way. Oh. Uh, Game Maker's Toolkit. Uh, let me see it. Uh, that's her. I think that's the video, but it was about Psychonauts. Uh, the channel's okay. under Mark Brown. Okay. For some reason, I think I got the... Because the way they have Toolkit, it's written like... No clue. The, yeah. It just reminded me of the black and white. Solve that mystery. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, he put it up. He said like within 20 minutes, it was off the front page. Sorry about this whole roundabout thing to get to that, but that was the yeah. point I was getting at. It's like stuff these days, like because anyone can jump on Steam and do whatever. Now again, they've abandoned green light in favor of this new thing they're doing, and they're trying to make some changes to that storefront. But I don't, I don't know that it's the best thing in the world. You know what I mean? I feel like that's only like a Steam issue, though, <sighs> because consoles are so different when it comes to like getting games and like you just can't put anything on there like you gotta have some kind of money it feels like. but how long until it becomes that next step i don't know you know um, what i mean because steam started out as and like i mean you make it sound like it's inevitable to where like that is a possibility that's just we can't we have to embrace it and i don't know it, i don't know app store i mean all that stuff like, i mean it's i'm all... sure something like it i mean yeah i mean there's a chance that it could happen but 
I guess it's the same thing with YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but a lot of these things are also aren't they like catered to your tastes? Like, hey, you play this. Here's games that are similar to this, and that's another way of finding it. True, but I don't know. It's it's weird. Good thing there's commercials. <laughs> <laughs> What's a TV? Um, yeah, I've got one more, but uh, if you've got anything, show and tell. I found something kind of funny. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, there's a anime malware that locks your files unless you play a game. <laughs> what? I love this. <laughs> okay, tell me about this. Um, this is, I found this on Kotaku. But, like, they're just saying that, like, um, it's, like, in 2017, even malware is anime. But, like, th- th- there's this new malware called, um, Resinware. R- Rensenware, sorry. Okay. Named after an anime-style game, Toho... Serenson. I'm saying that poorly, but that means uh, undefined fantastic object. You have to score over 2 million points on the game's lunatic level or they won't be able to access their computer files. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's crazy. But What's, like... which What was the word you had trouble pronouncing? Um, It's it, it's like italicized in there, I think. Oh, it, it's <laughs> potato salad. This is so hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Couldn't get it. <laughs> I like that, like, uh, like a virus like that. It's just, hey, you have to play this game in order to. <laughs> I don't. So what is it? Are you pirating anime and then you get this bullshit? I don't know or... how you get it. It's just, it's just some type of malware that's out there. Maybe you're adding something to your toolbar in your browser, which I don't know. If that's still a thing. <laughs> some Mozilla Firefox add-on. <laughs> it's ransomware. The FBI. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's, I just thought that was hilarious. Okay, so yeah, it's just malware. They just make, yeah. they just use anime. And, okay, <laughs> yeah, why not? That makes, sure. Uh, funny stuff. That, hmm. Because that sucks, but also. Yeah, but it's like a funny. But it's a thing where, I wonder if you can get out of it. If you can beat it. Or if it's just like, no, you're fucked. I mean, they're giving you a, a it sounds like they're giving you an opportunity <laughs> to access your files. It's just a big hurdle. <laughs> That, like, <laughs> probably nobody wants to do. Because you just get frustrated okay. and impatient. Like, you know what? I'm just going to yeah restart my computer, reboot it, ground up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All the way to the Reinstall the OS. <laughs> oh, man. Um, last thing I had, uh, the Video Game History Foundation. So, gamehistory.org, if you're not familiar. These are people who have previously been in games media or just collectors or or whatever but they've we i think we talked about them a little while ago when they actually like launched the site officially i think uh beginning of this year but they added a new thing a new blog post to the website this week that i thought was really dope um because a lot of them came from game media and they have a lot of contacts in game media they reached out to the game media and they've slowly been oh, I, collecting. I saw this. Yeah, they've been collecting all of this promotional art that they got from like fucking flash drives and old CDs and all this stuff. Look at this. I'm showing Mark some art from Persona 2. Yeah, that's. Um, Mother 3. Direct capture shit, right? Like nice. stuff that otherwise doesn't exist. Um, and they talk about. Uh, so here's something from Ocarina. Um, it's pre-release. Oh, uh, yeah. So, when he had the brown sleeves. Yeah. So it's in a magazine, and in the magazine it looks like this. And on their website they had this little slider. And that's them because they're able to get it from the original. Nice. Right? The one that really blew my mind was the Rayman 2. Yeah. So okay. you look at this. Because right. remember, in magazines the way they did screenshots was a literal screenshot. They'd hold a camera up to a TV and take a mm-hmm. picture of it and then print get it. Get all the lines in there and... Look at that. Clean. That's clean as what? Like, that's original ass art. You don't get that clean. That's impressive. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff. I'm going to see. I think, yeah. So they've got a lot of it on their Flickr page as well. I forgot about Flickr. We all did. <laughs> we all did. But they have stuff from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Like mm. level maps, character art, Tomba 2 artwork, Persona 2 character art, South Park EGM cover images. Like they've got all of this stuff that's just 
now suddenly oh my god look at these cover images i think there was like a couple sites where i would go to that's cool these south park um, cover images are so fucking dope there was just like a couple sites i'd go to that like kind of reserved this type of like promotional art. i mean you can find them anywhere now but like these sites are dedicated to like hey here's a manual here's all the pages um here's art that wasn't used yeah and like well it was two of them um, i think one was just like video game manuals I think mm. that might have been the name for it, VG manuals. I can't remember. The other one what, that I know for a fact is RP Gamer. Mm. I used to go there a lot because when I was like in my ROM phase and just like, I want to play games that aren't in America. Yeah. Uh, I would discover a lot of RPG games through this website. I'd be like, oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. And then, uh, yeah, and that's, they just had a lot of cool artwork there. Especially from the, I think the ones that stood out was from like the Shining series. Oh, oh, Shining Force, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was super rad. Gamehistory.org. Um, the stuff they're doing. Like, some of the stuff, like, otherwise would have been lost forever. Because it's stuff that was, like, sent out to magazines or yeah. whoever. And then, like, they use it or lose it or whatever. Like, I've never seen these South Park images, ever. Yeah, that, that was new. EA E3 screenshots from 1998. Holy crap, I was 10. Yeah. Look at this. It's hard to zoom out. I don't even know what fucking game this is. What is it? I don't know. Need for Speed 3? And then this weird fucking thing? Yeah, it almost looked like Nightmare Creatures at first. Might have been. Was that EA? I saw that today. I almost bought that. At the Nightmare Creatures? Yeah. I think I saw the cartridge. Almost bought it. Sonic Adventure character art? That's real art. Well, that's also in the Mega Collection, I think. So, yeah, some of it. But right. some of it might be lost. Might have been lost forever. It's, I, yeah, but those specifically, maybe not. But those poses for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but no, everything they're doing rules. Um, they just keep dumping stuff. A few months ago when they finally, like, unveiled everything and, and put everything up. Or put the website, made the website live. Sorry. I stumbled over my words. Um, when they did that, they debuted with a lot of the nes launch collection that they've gathered let's see if i can find that stuff because that stuff's super did you see that when it went live mm. i think matt wrote about it put it in a uh flip side but yeah these are all pictures of like the first time they showed off the avs oh wow advanced video system and a lot of these like, promotional oh images what is that zapper yeah what's that right? little zapper what is that system? Look at these controllers. They're not even controllers. It's not even a D-pad. It looks like a fucking VC or a VHS yeah, tape. Yeah, that's what they're VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then you finally have the NES here after it was the AVS. Um, but some of this stuff, like this poster in that's particular. Creepy. It's creepy as fuck. But also this poster. Um, I remember when Frank Cifaldi, one of the guys working here, was tweeting pictures of like what he was doing that day. He was going through and cleaning up because this was a poster it was like folded up and it was all crinkled and fucked up. And like, yeah. he went through and cleaned it all up. I'm picturing who was that guy who would, who passed away, who did all the narration for trailers. Ralph Bakshi. Sure. We'll go with that. It's not but him. if you go back down to that picture, yeah, that's just, I read it in his voice uh, where it's like, yeah, it's, it's like, they said reviving the video game market wasn't humanly possible. It wasn't. Like that, seriously, that is fucking horrifying. Yeah. It's just Rob the Robot with red eyes. Yeah. What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> do I have a Rob Amiibo? Mm, yes, you do. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> like that looks like it's like a horror movie waiting to happen. And Hell like, yeah, it does. I want a VHS box of that. <laughs> but yeah, super dope. Go check that stuff out. Look at this. Top loading. It's so weird. It's, like not, I, it's mm. not humanly possible. Nope. It's like a recorder of some kind. Keyboard. I love it, man. Um, that's it. That's all I got for show and tell. Yeah, Gamehistory.org. That, that looks creepy. Dude. What the fuck, Rob? I know. An army of Robs. Stop it. Sup. Pretty dope stuff. Robbing my soul. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so this week, you've got ukulele. Mm -hmm. Are you getting day one or... Yeah, why not? I don't know if I'm getting it. I mean, I see. Day one now like sucks <sighs> for games. 
It's like you can't get anything day one because everything's shitty when it first comes out. Not always. But, like, with some games, there's always... That's, like, Mass Effect. Hmm. Uh, what was the other one? That was a big turd at first. The other space game. Why can't I think of the name? Mm. Mm. It was just like going to planets. No Man's Sky. Yeah, well, I don't think Day 2 helped that one either. Right, but I'm just saying that like all these, like Final Fantasy wasn't at its greatest when it first came out. Mm. For, for 15. For what part? 13? Chapter thirteen? Well, it just like, it just in general, oh. it was just it was just very buggy and like some oh. parts just felt unfinished or like even Metal Gear came out unfinished and I'll yeah. never get finished. But like now, but then later they throw the stuff in in patches. True, I uh, can run better, sixty frames. They add all this content that he should have added when it first came out. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know. It's, it's just that's always a thing now, and then ukulele suffers from that too. It's just like, I just want to have something day one and just fucking work. I want to get I want to get ukulele. I just don't know if I want to get it on Switch or PS4. I mean, you'll probably end up doing both if you're if you're impatient, <laughs> like me. Nah, I feel like if I if I end up if I get it on PS4 and I play through it, I don't I don't think I'm gonna need to play it again. But I, don't I think know. I'm gonna do PC first, and then if it's not running great, I'm gonna refund it and then get it on PS4. That checks out. Cause you have like that like hour, couple hour window. Or like, no, like you have to play less than twenty minutes or something like that. To... I think it's less than two hours. Two hours, yeah. yeah. That, okay. Yeah, they give you a little bit of time. Yeah. Unless it's like a fucking two-hour game, and they know that, then they'll no, they... say go fuck yourself. Apparently, this is a pretty lengthy game. It's like about. No, I mean, I just mean generally speaking. With yeah. Steam. But yeah. Just in general, like I, I assume this would be pretty long. You got all the collectibles. You got all the things. Yeah. Got to find Shovel Knight. Yeah. God, I hope he's playable. He won't be. He probably not. I know. He's... <laughs> I know. He's... I know. He's... I know. I know. Uh, well, that's going to do it for the Free Cheese episode 192. Moving on up. We did it. Getting real close to 200. Real close. Uh, well, go to the website this week. We don't have daily content planned out like we did last week with the baseball stuff. Um, but we have our new cover story live, Fools, which, by the way, I'm getting printed up and hung up here. I'm printing out like a bunch of the cover stories. Because I fucking love so much of the art that we've done. What happens and when you run out of room? I'm only doing the ones I like. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a couple I've done that I'm like, mm. Yeah. Not stoked about it. I feel that way with some of mine. Um, but no, I'm super rad. So yeah, Fools is out. So this month we'll focus on the funny side of gaming. When gaming oh. can become funny. Um so check that stuff out. Go back and watch the baseball stuff if you missed it. Freecheese.com. That's yeah. it. YouTube. Uh, you should follow us all on Twitter. Matt is at MattyIce131. And he's near some ice now. Mark is at Aug underscore Mental. The Free Cheese is at Some Free Cheese. And I am at The Free Cheese. I think that's all the things. That's all the things. Go buy old video games because I did. And damn am I happy. So stoked that PlayStation 2 works. Thought it was done for after we dropped the TV on it as kids. And I swear it fucking was because we bought... I'm not getting into it now. <laughs> we had to buy a second PS2. Um, I know that. Yeah, but like those PS2s are pretty durable. I know, but we bought a second one for some reason. Huh? Guys, I thought it was like that didn't work. Maybe it was just dusty. It might have been. I did take did, some... Uh... Did you clean it out? Yeah. Yeah. The lens probably was all dirty. Hmm. It wouldn't even get power before. Or I think we'd get red light, but it would never actually boot. Mm. Yeah. But hey, she works now. Just need controllers for it. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Matt. Even though you're not here anymore. Uh, thanks, listeners, for hanging out with us. We'll see you next week.